principles don't impress people. Character does. What are we going to be remembered for? Who we are or what we do? The most successful person in my view is the one that has that right attitude. The first thing that we need to understand about having great relationships at work and in life is that it really starts with our own mindset. Because here's the key, leadership is a state of mind. It has nothing to do with our job title. So we need to be practicing personal leadership with everybody, with our colleagues, because let me ask you this, do our internal relationships affect our external relationships? Exactly, so that is so important. We need to lead ourselves with everyone that we come into contact with. So these five characteristics of personal leadership, the first one is all about accountability. How do you communicate with yourself? Because it's so important when you think about how we interact with other people, that's why we are accountable for our own communication. And you know, Claude Bernard once said, it's what we think we know that often prevents us from learning. So how open-minded are we? We can start having negative thoughts before we even leave the house. In fact, we don't even have to be out of bed. <laughs> All we do is we open our eyes and we just turn around and look at who's lying next to us. <laughs> you know, people say to me, and I've worked with all sorts of organisations, corporations, government, non-profit, healthcare, wherever I go, and people say, you know, how are we going to attract people to our workplace? That seems to be a very popular topic these days. But what is it that really keeps people enjoyed and engaged at what they're doing? It's the energy. It's something that you can't buy. It's something that you feel. It's something that you experience together. We create this incredible energy together. Put your arms out in front of you. Come on, arms out in front of you, great big smile. Question your alcohol looks good, but I'm going to go with it. <laughs> she totally missed. It gets worse. Can you feel it now? Twirl it faster and faster, keep on twirling. It's amazing how many people wake up in the morning that we were talking about earlier and they've got that same crap, different day. You know that mindset. It's amazing where people get that idea. And you know, when I immigrated to North America, I became familiar with an expression that I'd never heard of before. What's that day called in the middle of the week? Hump day. That is the oddest expression. Because in Australia, that means something completely different. <laughs> but there's so many things that are outside of our control. Would you agree? Just about everything is out outside of our control. But let's focus on what's within our control. Regardless of what might be going on around you, regardless of the politics, regardless of someone else's negativity. That's the beauty of being counterintuitive. 